I don't even know why I'm doing this because can I put a video on YouTube? I don't think I'm allowed down here. This is the real dodgy part. So do I push it or do I flag it? What do I do? What do I do? I'll push a bit. Now I can't lie, ever since I got my camera converted to shoot 850 nanometer infrared black and white photography, I'm absolutely obsessed with black and white infrared photography. I just, I just can't get enough of it. Everything I see, everything I look at, I just think, shit, what's that gonna look like in infrared? I'm on a little bit of a road trip. I wanna do a bit of a bike ride and a hike down in the hills there. So I'm gonna pull up along the way. We're heading for a temperature around about 25, crystal clear blue skies, perfect for what I'm gonna do today. So uh, let's saddle up. Now the place I'm looking at photographing is just over these railway lines. I think it must be an old railway building or something like that. You can just see it. I don't know if you can. I can just see it over the lines there. It's, a, it's an old block building with a bit of graffiti on it. And it, I, I, don't, I don't know. It looks pretty cool, in my humble opinion. It doesn't look much at all, uh, but I think it's, I always pass it and I think one day, one day I'm gonna get a shot of that. And today is the day. Now, obviously I don't know what this building used to be. I'm guessing it's something to do with the railways or dairy industry, who knows? And I'm shooting this one looking back into the sun and it's looking quite washed out, obviously quite hazy, but I think I'll be able to bring some contrast back into this shot. And some buildings, if you get them in the right light, they really do stand out. And this one is no exception. It's absolutely stunning. Now we've just driven through Woodville and just on the outskirts of town there's this building. It's got a couple of small water dams in there. I think it's an old council building or council site, something like that. But I mean look at this bit here. There's a small yacht moored in this tiny dam. It's not something you see every day. I don't know what it is about infrared. I shot this not long back on the Leica Q2 in colour and it, and it was beautiful. But in infrared, oh, what can I tell you? Everything, everything just looks so different. I mean, look at this one here. You've got the water that stands out jet black. You've got the big tree standing out white. The sky standing out black. Oh, what is not to like? I think from this angle, <laughs> it tells the story a little bit more because uh, from the other angle, you can't really get a gauge of how big or how actually small the, the pond is. But from this angle, you do get a sense of uh, the nothingness that this boat is parked in. So this is going to be home for the next two nights just outside Woodville, down by the Manawatu River. Do some hiking into the hills, a little bit of cycling, possibly get on the old road, which is uh, shut now because it's too dangerous to drive because there's so many slips down there. But I reckon if I sneak through on the push bike, take it at my own risk, who knows, who knows. I'm amazed no one else is here really. A couple of cars, but no, uh, no other campers, no other vans. Normally it's chock a block down here. Yeah, this will do, mate, I reckon. Why not? Well, park yourself here, lad. That'll do. So this is the Manawatu River between Palmerston North and Hawke's Bay. Beautiful spot. I thought I'd get out for a little bit of a bike ride. I've got a shot from this side looking back towards the Freedom Camping spot. And it looks pretty cool, but over here, let me just take it over the road. And just for your information, this road's closed. It's the old Gorge Road. It's no longer open to traffic. Look at this. That, for me, is the better shot. That ridge line with trees coming down. We've got the rail line running parallel across the middle there. Got a nice curvature of the river, some nice clouds. That is looking like a decent shot for me. I can't actually show you what it looks like to my eyes. But I'll tell you, it's, it's green. Everything's green. The sky is a milky blue with streaks of white clouds running through it. And it, yeah, it looks okay, it looks okay. But stick it in infrared. I mean, look at that. Look at, unbelievable. What a difference. And this is the thing. You don't know what it's gonna look like until you turn the infrared camera on and have a look at the back of the camera or through the viewfinder. And then you just get this completely different world that we can't see on a day-to-day -day basis. And, I, and I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. It's addictive. And this is quite bizarre. I've driven this road quite a few times over the years and it's always busy, it's always a little bit hairy because you've got some seriously gnarly, windy roads. And this road was closed because of all the slips, countless slips, countless millions of dollars spent clearing the road up. You get some seriously steep cliffs. And after a while, they decided, now pull the pin. It's going to be more economical to build a new route over those hills. And that's a rail bridge over the Manawatu River.
I don't even know if I'm legally allowed to be down here. I'm, I'm guessing possibly not. But I've talked to so many people that have done this walk. I'm not being stupid. I'm not going off track. I'm going to stick to the road. Stick away from the cliffside. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking this at my own risk. And just for the just for the record, if I get myself in serious strife here, it's on my head. <laughs> Possibly, literally. But ah, uh, oh, what an experience! Beautiful. Just things like this that I'm loving. Look at that. A little bit of an island growing between the uh, the lanes there. And the amazing thing is how quiet it is. Apart from the odd bird noise, the odd flurry of wind, the turbines, the odd wind turbines going round, that's it. So here, we've come to a serious stop. Look at this here. Some big old concrete blocks. Stopping and getting through. Although, you know, meant to be fair. Could get through there, no danger. Well, probably some danger, but, you know. Now realistically, I don't even know why I'm doing this because can I put a video on YouTube, you know, showing this area, this amazing area because I don't think I'm allowed down here, so uh, yeah. It seems like it's a bit of a waste of time, but from, an old, from my own personal historical point of view, why not? Why not? It's, oh, it's amazing, it is amazing, I'm loving it. The thing is though, do I push any further? This is obviously getting to the dodgy part. It's all dodgy, but this is the real dodgy part. So do I push it or do I flag it? Whew. What do I do, what do I do? I'll push a bit. And here's proof that other people have done this. There's a cracking little walkway. I mean, this is the road, I'm walking on the road. Slip obviously come down here, massive slip. This is possibly the one that they decided to pull the plug on the road for. But look at this, I mean, jeez, man. So yeah, it's a walking track. I personally don't see this as any more dangerous than the uh, Kate Kidnapper's walk. Cloud up a bit out east. I don't know how this is coming out in IR. Some serious wire mesh here that they've put along the banks. Trying to stabilise the cliffs, or not so much stabilise, but catch the rocks as they fall. Works to a certain degree, that's for sure. Right hand side there, you've got the old, you've got the rail tunnel going under the hills.
Now this is the site of the biggest slip I can remember here. Just look at that beauty. That was a monster. That shut the road for months. Cost God knows how many millions to clear it up. <laughs> and then it slipped further down the line, as you know. I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but you can just see a, just see the top of a crane and part of a bridge span. That looks like it's part of the new road construction. So uh, that'd be quite interesting to get a shot of that before it's uh, coupled up. Let's go push on and get that shot. Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I think, I don't know, from memory. You got a daughter-in-law? Oh, it might be that then, yeah. Yeah, and his son's over, over, over in Australia. It's pretty cool, past a few people now walking. They say there's quite a lot of YouTube clips from this road. If that's the case, I'll be loading mine on, why not? I think we can definitely see that the road is closed. been chatting to a couple of walkers and they reckon that this road has been closed for eight years now if that's right my god those eight years have gone fast oh geez like only a couple of years since i was driving down here but uh, eight years man hey there you go Okay, so I'm back at the start. Let me tell you, that was awesome. Probably 22, 24 k's round trip. And it was just impressive. I mean, I don't know, just 
kind of eerie. It's a little bit like it's going to be after the uh, after the old nuclear war there, you know. Not that there's going to be one. Who knows? I'm no political analyst. But uh, yeah, it just kind of feels like that. It's kind of eerie where nature's taking over, nobody about, and it's just uh, I don't know. We just made some nice photographs, nice trip. Alright guys, until next time, if you enjoyed this, give us a like and a subscribe, do the right thing, it's free, it's free, come on, good value surely. Alright, until next time, see ya.